Okay. Good. Nothing scientific behind it. No crazy machines, just basic movements, barbells, dumbbells. That's it. What's up, guys? Good having you back, tuned in. We are one week into the diet, so it's 11 weeks out right now. So far, as all of you know that compete themselves, I got the initial weight drop into the diet. I went from 274, 275, down to about 266, 265 maybe. And now I'm looking to hold it somewhere in that neighborhood until I really shred it down during the last six weeks or so. Cardio wise, I've changed nothing. And as far as diet is concerned, I have cut from my average of 1000 carbs to around 800 carbs. Those 800 carbs are spread out over seven meals during the course of the day and all of those meals are equal in carb content. Protein is at 75 grams per meal and fats are minimal so I only get fats from the foods that I eat meaning from the turkey, the chicken and the steak. Today we're training chest, just like we did in episode one, but I've changed a couple things in this session, so I figured this would be interesting. We're starting out on the Smith machine, uh, five sets there with three plates aside after warm-ups, obviously. I just go five sets to failure, take 30 breaths of rest in between all of those sets. Then I strip it down to two plates and I do five sets of 10 with two plates using the rest pause principle. Again, I only rest for 30 deep breaths in between full sets of 10 and to complete 10 reps each set, I only rest as much as necessary. Then I strip it down to one plate aside and I do the same thing over but five sets of 20 this time with a really good squeeze up top and hard hard contractions so the answer is yes i'm starting out this session with 15 sets working sets of smith machine presses and then we're going on to the next exercise
the pump I'm carrying over from the Smith Machine Massacre is massive, but so is the fatigue. On the flat dumbbell presses that are coming up next, I'm going with the 125s. I do five sets there, just straight sets to failure. And that's pretty much about it. As you can see, I'm only using partial range of motion. That is from a full deep stretch to about two thirds of the way up. That is for numerous reasons. One, I had to deal with severe elbow problems that have disappeared since I've been doing it this way. And two, Jason Aha has taught me this technique and it has worked awesome for my chest and also my legs. So again, I just keep doing what is proven to work for me. Up next is a superset that I enjoy very much. It's cable crossovers paired with body weight dips. I like the superset because it puts a contraction movement, the cable crossovers, where you can get a really intense contraction at the top of the movement, together with a stretching movement, that is the dips. As you can see, I'm going really low and I'm holding my chest into the exercise and that way I get an intense pull on the pecs. For me, pairing two exercises like this together makes a lot of sense and I like the feel that I get from it. I'm doing also five sets here, 20 reps on the cable crossovers and just as many reps as I can get with body weight on dips. To finish off, as I am finishing off most of my chest workouts with probably my favorite exercise for upper body, the dumbbell pullover. Again, five sets here, 10 reps each. I make sure I get a deep, deep stretch, constant tension, meaning I never put the dumbbell onto my elbow joints when I'm up top. And that completes the session. As always, thank you guys for watching. I'll make sure to have a video ready for you next week at 10 weeks out. If you would like to see any topics discussed on future videos, please feel free to comment below. And until then, have a great week. See you next time.